Tony. In this video, I will be reacting to the very first episode of the Wild Main series. I thought about having Twilight, Rarity, Pinkie Pie, and Rainbow Dash react to this episode. However, I wanted my thoughts and opinions to be more personal, so I'll be reacting instead. From what it seems like, apparently all of the episodes are going to be around 5 minutes long, which in my opinion is quite short. I honestly expected this series to be from around 15 to 20 minutes long. Before we begin, I just want to say that I won't be too critical about this show as it is made for kids. However, it's not going to stop me from having some of my own personal thoughts and opinions on this show. But without further ado, let's go ahead and react to Hold It Wong from Wild Mains. Cherry! <laughs> We've got to stop her! Surf's up, Cherry! Wait, wait, okay, okay. Um, I'm just gonna say right here that it's a very random comment from Bailey herself. Very random. Like, there was like an emergency or something going on, and then we have Bailey that just saying, Surf's up, Cherry! We're doing the right thing? Of course we are! She's making a terrible mistake! Oh, sugar! Cherry! Whoa! Bet you're wondering what's happening. Let me catch you up. It all started earlier when I was having a busy cafe morning. What can I get you, Finley? Oh, I don't know. A uh, warm gingerbread cocoa or iced cocoa. Okay, the voice acting is so cute. A chocolate or oh, maybe maple syrup mix or um, yeah, uh, maybe I just uh, need a minute. Huh. Hey, Cherry. The usual? You know it. Hello? Uh-huh, yeah. I'm packing up right now. Wait. I do think a change of scenery would be good. Don't tell me she's moving away. That's right. I've been waiting for this day for a long time, and I'm finally ready to go. Go? Uh, Cherry. Thanks, Coco. Have a good day. It sounds like Cherry is leaving town. She can't leave. She has friends here and a tea and treats shop. And she makes the best macarons ever! I'd be jumping to conclusions. Nah, I'm finally almost certain. No, actually, I would um, I would be very concerned too. Like, there's like little to no context with this whole thing going on with Cherry here, and like the fact that she left Coco without like any like further information on what's going on. Like, just left Coco out in the code. Um, we need an explanation. Mostly decided that I'd like to have- You're never gonna guess what I just heard. Go ahead, guess. No, I'll just tell you. Cherry is leaving town! What? Worrisome waterfalls! Why didn't she tell us? I guess she didn't want anyone to know. That's right. Cherry is packing up and leaving town. Uh, Coco overheard Cherry talking. She said a change of scenery would be good for her. And she's finally ready to go. Surf and saddles! That is so unchill! Handy! She'll want to hear this news, especially for her video channel. So, let me see if I have this right. Cherry is packing up and leaving wild today? Uh-huh, yep, that's right. That is the saddest news I've ever heard! I think Candy's my favorite pony here. I just love her personality. I know I've only like watched Cherry for like a second here, but she's already my favorite my favorite Philly here in Wild Maids. I just love her personality. It's so, so cute. Welcome back to Candy's Corner. I have some breaking news. Our dear friend Cherry has decided to leave town. Okay, the fact that Cherry was like crying, you know, cause like Cherry is supposedly like moving away from town, but then she just like gets straight to walking like nothing ever happened. It's so sad. Whoa, I need to chill out. Maybe Cherry would change her mind if we show her how much we love her. Okay, I don't I don't know the the pony with the yellow and purple mane's name, but she reminds me of Pinkie Pie from Generation One. I don't know why. Maybe it's the voice, maybe it's the personality, but that pony reminds me of Pinkie Pie from Generation Three. Is a sweet idea. I know. I'll bring her one of my famous sugary sweet candy apples. 
trot on. I'll get my surfboard and see if Cherry will catch some totally zen waves with me. And I'll whip up an extra special chocolate almond and pumpkin spice double sprinkle cup of cocoa with extra marshmallows. <sighs> Come on. Cherry! <laughs> We've got to Oh, so that's what happened before this whole emergency thing happened. Okay. Surf's up, Cherry! We're doing the right thing, aren't we? Of course we are. She's making a terrible mistake. Oh, sugar. Cherry! Oh. So, I think you're all caught up now. Come on. Okay, um, I'm getting time travel vibes from this because you have like the exact same scene repeating again after we get the context of what's going on now and instead of Coca just saying oh you know you want to know what happened here it is now we get Coca saying well now you know what happens and we'll all catch up now so let's finish the story up Cherry! Cherry! Okay, these ponies have very great gravity balancing skills, like the food on top of one's nose and head. They're just staying on. Apparently, gravity doesn't exist in the wild Mains town. Ah! Oh, my macarons! What's this noise all about? We don't want you to leave town! You're one of our dearest, sweetest friends! You can't go! You just can't! I'm not going anywhere. I'd never leave wild and all of my- Oh, thank goodness. Cherry's not leaving. She's gonna stay. I actually knew that was gonna happen. But anyway, I am so glad that she is staying. There's no way we'd ever lose the main character from a series. No, Cherry is so cool. My wonderful friends, where do you get such a silly idea? Uh, well, me. <laughs> the stales, oh my god. <laughs> You were on the phone, saying you were packing up. Oh, it did sound like that. Okay. Yes, I am packing up a really big order. It's almost time to go to the market, but it's just for the day. Oh, that makes more sense. To be honest, the order is as messy as a macaron filled with mushy marmalade. I could really use your help. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you heard her, Phillies. Let's lend a hook. <laughs> Oh, so that's what happened. Cherry has a really big market thing going on. Okay. I don't blame Coca for hoarding it long though, but I see. Also, I need to get used to calling the wild mains ponies fillies. I just said the word ponies for wild mains. <laughs> anyway, I need to get used to calling the wild mains horses fillies. Cause like I'm still I, I'm still using the model pony language here and I really shouldn't for the Wild Main series. Surf's up! That's the last one! Thank you so much for your help. It was our treat, Cherry. We're just glad you weren't leaving our town. <laughs> yeah. We don't know what we'd do without you or your shop or your delicious macarons! <laughs> I'm okay. <laughs> I'm glad. Here, help yourselves. Sweet! You're the best! No, you are! No. You are! You are! <laughs> oh, are. No, you are! No, you are! Oh, that's so wholesome. Alright. I love this show already. I, I wish it was longer. I wish it was longer. Like at least 15 minutes. I wish it was longer. Five minutes ain't enough for me. Five minutes ain't enough for me. And if you're curious, they release new episodes every Friday. So, you know, just leaving it here, but I wish the episodes would be so much longer. And also the art style and animation is so good. Like, I love it. And uh, the format of the series, although very short, is giving me nostalgia from the shows I used to watch as a kid. Just the simple, short, wholesome, you know, stories and art and the art style also gives me 2010's kids show vibes. I did say this on my reacting to the Wild Mains franchise video I made. Um, I think Rainbow Dash did say that, but that was actually my very true thought of mine. Anyway, Vipone, that is all of this video. I don't think I will be reacting to more Wild Mains episode. I think this will be the only one I will be reacting to. Um, but anyway, thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you guys soon. Bye.